Hi, it's Jaden Sterling here, and today I answer a really good question. One of my students and friends asked the question uh, through our Facebook chat group, which uh, the question is, Jaden Sterling, manifesting offers and buyers for my house. Do I ask for a specific dollar amount I want to get for my house? Suggested mantra to say, thanks. Well, that's a really good question because as we manifest what we desire, we start to learn that we are part of the co-creative process. And we also learn that at any one time, there exists multiple potential outcomes for what we desire. So Odette's question was really good because she wants to know, you know, do I ask for a specific dollar amount? You know, do I, do I, does that limit me or pigeonhole me in terms of what I'm, what I can manifest in that experience? So let's deal with that first part of the question, asking for a very specific dollar amount. Um, I think it is important to to state to the universe and uh, to others that yes, you want a certain dollar amount for your property. What I like to see is dollar amounts that aren't that you don't often see, you know, most times people round up to a very specific dollar amount, for example, 450,000 or 229,000, that kind of thing. It's a round number. And I've learned through the years in real estate, it's really important to ask for a number that is, you know, maybe isn't, isn't um, a number that you hear often. Like for example, if your home is in the 400,000 range, maybe you ask for a price of $401,290, <laughs> you know, just something like that, that is slightly different than what other people are asking. What happens in that situation is people think, oh, wow, they, they need to get that specific dollar amount because maybe they, you know, they have a mortgage and other expenses that need to be paid. And so they've already calculated how much money they need. And, and it's interesting because a lot of people will be reluctant to counter an offer like that if they like the home. Now they have to like the home, but they're reluctant to do so because they're like, oh, well, they need that dollar amount. So that's one option. So definitely ask for a very specific dollar amount and make it kind of unique. You know, don't don't do run of the mill like everyone else does and that's round up or or do some kind of round number. Make it a number that kind of catches people at people's attention. And the other uh, question that Odette has is a suggested mantra to say. Well, mantras are great, affirmations are great, as long as you really feel the impact of that affirmation or mantra. So if you're, not, if you're saying a mantra that is um, something that you don't fully believe in or that you really don't, uh, can't really wrap your mind around, like um, if your mantra is, you know, universe, bring me a million dollars right here and now, but if, if those are just words that you're saying without being backed up by a belief that you truly are worthy and deserving of a million dollars, that you can truly receive a million dollars, then you know what? You're just wasting your time. So, uh, but if you're someone who's working with this manifesting process, like I know Odette is, and you're someone who is really trying to fine tune and hone in on how to manifest your house being sold, I think there's something even more powerful than mantras. And that is visualizing the other end of the deal. Now, for example, um, when you're selling your home, obviously you wanna visualize someone coming in to buy your home, right? There's gonna be, there's gonna be another part of that process that you need to manifest. So what I like to uh, do is when I'm selling real estate is I like to visualize the certain buyer that will come to me to buy my home. And I visualize that buyer coming to the home, maybe through an open house or seeing it listed on the MLS system. I visualize them walking in the home and falling in love immediately. And I also visualize that person is in a financial position right there to make an offer on my home. So they're already pre-qualified or they have cash in the bank or they, you know, they're, they're ready. They're already, they've already started the process rolling of, of figuring out how to pay for the home. 
So that's super important too. So rather than think of a mantra or think of affirmations to say around your house being sold, put that mental energy into attracting that ideal buyer for your home. Put that mental energy into saying to the universe, look, you know, bring me a, a happy family who is gonna easily fall in love with this home, um, joyfully purchase it, and we're gonna close within 30 days of them seeing the home. And we know that something very powerful happens after you give 17 seconds of uninterrupted, focused thought. So very focused on what you desire to happen in that experience, and and just keep that thought process in absolute clarity. Don't backslide. Backsliding is 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 you know if you haven't achieved your goal within the time limit that you set. Sometimes we have a hes we hesitate, and we have a tendency to backslide, and we change our goal. Maybe we shoot for less than what we really desire, or we start to question ourselves. And when we do that. We literally stop the manifesting process. So stay focused on your goal. Stay focused on that end result, Odette, on that dollar, very specific dollar amount that you want. And more importantly, focused on who those buyers are for your home. You know, where, what, how big is their family? What's their, what's their story? What's their background? Um, you know, be, be clear about that and that is how you will manifest your home selling very quickly. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button or at least the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. Maybe you have friends who are going through the process of selling their home and they don't know how to handle that process either. I'm going to get a little more in depth about the process of actually selling a home on my next video. So stay tuned for that. I think you'll enjoy it.